In China, the term "migrant children" refers to children of migrant workers who were born or live in the cities instead of their hometowns. As migrant workers work and thus stay longer in cities for longer periods of time, the number of migrant children in China has grown rapidly, and has reached 35 million in 2015. Compared with left-behind children, migrant children are not separated from their parents, but they still face a lot of challenges. They live in urban villages where the rent is cheap, but the living conditions are poor. They have limited access to public schools in the cities, while private schools are expensive and the teaching quality is often poor. They also lack sufficient support from their families due to their parents' long working hours and lower education level. Oxfam Hong Kong has been supporting migrant workers and their families in China since 1997. It has collaborated with NGOs in major Chinese cities and established multi-level support systems for migrant children. Suhuan Playgroup is an NGO in Beijing which provides preschool education for migrant children. Zhang Yan, a renowned scholar in early childhood education, established this NGO with her students in 2004. As China's capital city, Beijing sees tough competition for kindergarten roles. Migrant children without local huko are either rejected by public kindergartens or unable to afford the tuition at private ones. In this regard, Suhuan Playgroup has provided an affordable alternative for preschool migrant children. It has created a safe and happy environment with plenty of plants and homemade toys. Its flexible curriculum allows migrant children to enroll and quit at different times around the year. Unlike mainstream kindergartens, where parents are usually kept at a distance, Suhuan Playgroup hopes to build a community which encourages parents and teachers to work together. Parents are encouraged to participate in the decision making and daily operations of the playgroup, and some mothers have even been trained as mom teachers. Tio Lanfu is one of the parents in the playgroup. She comes from a rural village and is knowledgeable about agriculture. She has served as a mom teacher for seven years and has become a good educator. 最早的时候，在院子时候实在什么都没有，也是无意中看到路边上，哎，长了一些，长了一个丝瓜苗，说我看到我就赶紧，呃，进去就把它挖过来，挖过来就种，然后就牵藤这样爬过来，这孩子就一起观察，每天找找黄瓜有多少，然后哪里结了，然后就孩子也喜欢趴在那里看，每天都有那里新发现。As a leading city in South China, Guangzhou has attracted a large number of migrant workers. Here, migrant children are called little golden swallows, a term that describes how they frequently move from place to place. Torch Community, an NGO in Guangzhou's urban village, has been serving migrant children since 2010. The NGO provides after-school care services for migrant children, and has developed courses on gender, safety, and life skills, which are supplementary to their school education. It has also formed a choir for migrant children to enhance their self-confidence and raise public awareness.
到就是文化水平很高，或者说素质很高，有很多东西又不懂，那其实他们缺的只是机会跟平台。Apart from children, Torch Community has also established close ties with migrant parents. They are involved in the organization of all kinds of community services, and have enhanced their own capacity in the process. Liu Taifang is a migrant worker who used to work in a shoe factory. Her son enjoys activities held by Torch Community, and she is now an enthusiastic leader among parents. 刚开始呢，我也很茫然的。嗯，比如说，真的做戏剧小组那样子，有时候打电话，但是那些人就不来，嗯，一来就是来三个五个的。但现在的话，我这次我就打了一个电话，真的，呃，去慢慢的跟家长接触，有点同理心，跟他们一起，一起，大家都是为了孩子啊。The urban village is where most migrant children live. It will be demolished, reconstructed, and urbanized, so the government does not feel the need to improve its infrastructure and public facilities. Residents in the urban village, no matter migrants or natives, also consider it as a temporary place of residence, so there is no sense of community. Huayi, an NGO that serves migrant children in Anhui's capital city of Hefei, recognizes the importance of building a community. In one of the poorly maintained urban villages of Hefei, Huayi has mobilized residents in the village to improve the environment of their community. They have installed street lights in the neighborhood, which used to be too dark and unsafe for people who returned home late at night. Residents participated in collective decision making, crowdfunding, and implementation of the street lights project. During which process, they formed a more cohesive community. Because we were limited in our funds, we said we first put a part of the lights out, and then let the community members lead the community. Can we put a part of the lights out? Can we put a part of the lights out? Can we put a part of the lights out? Can we put a part of the lights out? Can we put a part of the lights out? Can we put a part of the lights out? Can we put a part of the lights out? Can we put a part of the lights out? 呃，每人每人捐一元钱，让社区路灯亮起来。Huayi has made efforts to reduce the conflicts between them. The street lights are solar powered and won't generate additional costs for the landlords. 就我们之前去安装路灯的时候，本地居民的房东是不同意在他们家安的。哎，他们家会认为觉得为什么在我们家安还要这么打洞啊，干嘛？然后安完水灯之后过后了，然后就会有人说：“哎，你们这边还有还有要安灯的吗？或者是怎么样？”然后然后就会就会就会主动的会说：“哎，我们家这边可以安灯啊，或者怎么怎么样。” Kunming, a major city in southwest China, has more than two million migrants. Different from eastern China, Kunming is less industrialized. Most migrants here take up informal jobs. For instance, some are street vendors, while others are trash collectors. Many migrants in ethnically diverse Kunming are ethnic minorities. They tend to have more than one child and are generally more vulnerable. Than the Han migrants, who make up the majority of the migrant population. Yunnan Heart to Heart Community Care Service Center, founded by a group of scholars and social workers in 2004, is an NGO in Kunming which supports migrant workers and their families. The NGO has created jobs for unskilled migrants, including ethnic minorities, who are disadvantaged in the job market due to the language barrier and social exclusion. It has also helped migrant children who are at risk of dropping out through the NGO's volunteer teachers and social workers stations at schools. At the community level, it has opened a children's center in the urban village where migrant children can read, play, and organize their own activities. The team at Heart to Heart that supports migrant children. Later, formed a new NGO called Yi Xing, and the two NGOs still work closely with each other. 
所以我们的工作的大点就是，我们不知道我们所陪伴的孩子能陪多久，我们不知道我们对他的影响会在什么时候。就像我们说的，在撒种子，如果用圣经的话来说叫撒种子，你不知道这个种子什么时候会发芽，什么时候会结果，我们完全不知道。所以我们只能说尽我们的能力，在我们还有机会来做服务的过程中，我们尽量去做。